to give all glory and praise and honor to the most high and you see what that you know that soldier said he said you know they're fighting for their family you know their lives the honor of their name man you know and these guys that was coming up against them they, they're coming up against them for carnal reasons man you know what i mean but they're fighting um you know they were they, they, they were fighting for something greater man and just and that's just like with us man you know these guys you know they're getting little trinkets you know they'll come up against us we fight, we fight for our lives out here and to maintain the law, man. You know, and, you know, for our family, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, man. You know, and that, and, and you know, and, and, and that movie Immortals, it reminded me of the Book of the Maccabees, especially this scene right here, and the way those guys fought, man. So we write, we got First Maccabees right here, three twenty. They come up against us in much pride and iniquity to destroy us and our wives and children. And to spoil us, but we fight for our lives and our law, man. So that's what they were fighting for, man. Me in the book of the Maccabees, man. <laughs> for the law, man. And we're gonna keep going, man. And you see, at the end, he said, you know, we fighting for immortality. You know, man, that's what we fighting for too, man. To put on that um immortal body, man. You know, that that body that can't be corrupted. All praises to the Most High for that. And you see, he had to come uh, assemble the troops because they were growing weary, man. And they were afraid because the uh, you know the other side, they had more numbers. You know, and he had to he had to um, you know, regather them, man. And that brought into my head um this scripture right here, from the book of the Maccabees, man. First Maccabees chapter three, eighteen through nineteen, unto whom Judas answered, and this is Judas uh Maccabeus, not Judas Iscariot. I mean, for those of you that don't know, unto whom Judas answered, it is no hard matter for many to be shut up in the hands of a few. And with the God of heaven, it is all one to deliver with a great multitude or a small company. For the victory of the battle standeth not in the multitude of an host, but strength cometh from heaven. You know, so it don't matter. What are you saying right here? It don't matter, man. With, with the most high, how many people you have. He could, he could, he could, um, he could bring down the enemy with a multitude of hosts, or with one person, you know. But, 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 it, but the strength is not coming from, you know, a multitude of people. It's coming from the, um, you know, from the Most High, from heaven, man. <laughs> and we've seen that with men, you know. The Most High has shown examples of that with men, with men like David, Moses, Samson, Samuel. You know, 
And you see the, you know, the soldier that was giving him that speech. He was favored by the, um, by the gods in the movie. You know what I mean, in that movie, Immortals, man, he was favored by them, man. You know, so you see when you know when you got the Most High on your side, you know, you don't have to worry about it, man. You could take down a multitude of people, you know, with one person, man. <laughs> you know, it don't matter, and you know, and 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 you know, just watching that scene right there. It reminded me of the story of the Maccabees, and you know Judas Maccabeus was a you man. He was a warrior, man, warrior. His brothers were warriors, man, and um, you know he won many battles, man. It was even instances where it showed you that angels came down to battle with him. The Most High sent angels down to battle with him on a battlefield, you know, with 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 with, with sword and shield. You know, protecting him. And he won countless battles. But, you know, the one thing that, that that pissed me off about Judas Maccabeus was the way that he died. You know, and and and, and, and that's what this scene reminded me of, too, was, was, you know, it was a multitude of hosts. And the men, the men got afraid. They were afraid. And they ended up deserting him. And, you know, and he, and he only had a few men left. And that's how he died in battle. I was like, man... That was cowardly, man. That was cowardly. And I now and, and then the one the one thing that I kept thinking to myself, like, how could they desert him when he won so many battles? When angels came down to battle on his behalf. You know, he won so many battles, man. You know? And that reminded me of that scene. You know, these guys were giving up and he had, you know, and this guy he had to um, you know, regroup the troops. Hey, don't give up, man. You know, we fighting for so we fighting for something bigger than that, man. You know, we fight for something greater, and Lord willing, we're gonna—you know what I mean? We're gonna overcome it. You know. So, you see, you know, he put that 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 you know that that spirit of um that lion spirit back into the men. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> but um. But yeah, man. Yeah, that's how Judas Maccabeus ended up dying. You know, and that and that got me to thinking. You don't desert your fellow brethren, you know, when adversity comes like that, man. Or no, neither do you sell them out. You know, and that got and that um that brought me to this verse right here. First John four twenty. If a man say I love God and hated his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? So the most I've been putting this verse, he he been putting putting this verse on my spirit, man, and um. You know, I've been thinking about this. And now we got to remember, like, yo, okay, you have your, your brother on, like, you know, your blood ready to side, of course. But this is more so, I mean, this is talking about everything, first and foremost. Let's state that. But this is more so talking about, you know what I mean, um, your, 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 um, your neighbors and your brother and your brethren outside of that, you know. And, you know, these a lot of these people, you know, they, they claim to love the most high. They claim to love God. But... That's <laughs> that's a lie, and it's a reason. It's a reason why the, the Most High is saying, you know, love your brethren, man, love your neighbor, because you you don't remember who this book was given to. This book was given to the Israelites, you know, and the Israelites they had many enemies, man. And you know, for example, if you and your brother is fighting, you have you have conflict within within the house. That's your brother, man. Or your sister, whoever. You know, um you may have a you may have you may have a conflict with them at that time, but you're not gonna let an outside force come in and and, and, and take over your, your brethren, man. You know, that's what the most high is talking about, man. Love love your brethren so you won't you know you don't have that much animosity to let an outside force come in and overtake him. You know, so if you do that, you know. You don't love the most high, you know what I mean? And a lot of you, a lot of you niggas out here have sold your family members out, have sold your best friends out, you know, for trinkets, man. And you don't, you claim to love the most high and love God, but right here the scripture says you don't, you know, because you sold your fellow brethren out, you, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, and that's what the most high is talking about. What, 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 what Joseph's brothers did, that was a no-go, man. When, when they sold him, um, you know, to the Egyptians and the Israelites, that's a no-go, man. That's a no-go. 
That's why he's saying, you know, love your brethren, man. Because you may we may have intertribal conflict, but when the enemy comes, you know what I mean? You're not gonna sell your your, your own brethren out, out over to him. Or your sister or whoever. That's what this is, that's what this really means, you know what I mean? That's what he's talking about. Have enough love for your brethren that you won't give them over to the enemy. And that's a lot of, that's what a lot of you niggas did out here. That's why you gang stalking us. That's why, you know what I mean, you guys, you know what I mean, you walking around here, you guys going to church, they going to church, but you guys don't love the most high, man. I mean, you sold your fellow brethren out, man, you know, to the, to the outside force, you know, for trinkets, man. And the most high is going to have his way for you guys with that, man. You know, and uh, somebody on their channel, they were saying that, um, you know, the people that sold your, uh, you know, your family members, they sacrificed your family members and things like that into this program, you know, or you had them killed, tortured, all that. You more than like, you you know, he said you, you're going to take the mark of the beast, man. He said that. He said, but, but you just don't know it yet. You guys just don't know it yet. You're going to take it, man. You're going to accept it. You know what I mean? Because what greater test is there than this, man? You know, like the um, the, the scripture said in the beginning, for gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of uh, adversity, man. You know, so that's what you know what I mean. That's when you're gonna be. That's when you're gonna find out who you are, man, in the face of adversity, man. You know. Acts chapter two, verse seventeen. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's got a whole lot, man. Brothers have been, you know, me, they've been hitting me up. They've been telling me that they've been dreaming, you know, about, you know, they, they, they had spiritual powers. You know, and that's amazing, man. You know, because the scripture says, you know, the most I going to give them those, you know, these dreams, man. You know, and this also comes at a, as a, um, a form of comfort, man, knowing that, you know, these things are going to come to fruition at, at one point, man, soon. You know, and, they, you know, and, and you handlers, you guys going to be slaughtered like dogs, man. Like dogs, man. Brothers is telling me that the things that they've seen. I mean, you guys going to be slaughtered like, like pigs, man. You know? It ain't, it, I mean, it ain't, it ain't, it's not going to be good. You know, the, the things the things that brothers is dreaming in these dreams, man. Okay, you know, but yeah, man. That's all I, that's, I mean, that, that's, that's, that should be it. I mean, continue to stand your ground out here. You know. And, you know what I mean? It's all praises to the most high. I mean, real talk.